the best way to protect your property from ticks is by having tick tubes. What's a tick tube, you ask? Today, we're not only going to tell you what they are, we're going to show you how easy they are to make yourself to maximize your property protection. Hi, this is Jan, our resident PhD, and I'm Adina, Lime TV superstar. Today, we're going to do a very important how-to video. This is our very first how-to video, so we're kind of excited about it. Enough of the mumbo jumbo talking, let's get down to business. First, let me give you quick important information about tick tubes. It's best to start laying tick tubes right now. When you see this, Early spring is really the ideal time to start laying down tick tubes. But you can start at any season and then shift to a more regular schedule explained later in the segment. Tick tubes can take a season or two to become effective, but they do work and studies have shown that they are nearly 100% effective in eliminating infected ticks from your property. That's pretty effective. Tick tubes are safe for people and animals. Permethrin, once it's dry, can be touched to your skin. I'm wearing permethrin in my clothes right now even inside, because ticks are mother and they can get in your house. Only if pets get into wet permethrin and swallow it can it cause an issue. So be sure to assemble and let them dry in an area away from kids and pets. Personally, I think schools and governments should be placing tick tubes down on school properties and heavily trafficked federal and local government properties. This could help reduce the incidence of tick-borne diseases among children and unaware citizens. Do you hear that, governments? Do you hear that, schools? I know it's just my opinion, but you know, FYI, it's a good choice for you guys to do. Add it in your budget. It's very cheap. Why would governments lay down tick tubes when they engineered the Lyme disease in the first place? <laughs> Tin foil hat for this guy. Why don't you start by telling them what are tick tubes? Okay. Tick tubes are cardboard tubes stuffed with cotton balls treated in permethrin. Permethrin is an EPA approved insecticide that can be sprayed on your clothing and used to make tick tubes. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it, so we can go home now. Simple product, right? Let me rewind a bit to explain to you exactly how it works. Mice and other rodents, such as chipmunks and shrews, are the original host reservoirs for the Borrelia bacteria, which causes Lyme disease. Aren't they so cute? They're so cute though. The little chipmunks, they're so cute. Little mice and shrews. Cute, but deadly. Cute, but they're just riddled with bacteria. One little tiny itsy bitsy mouse can carry up to 100 nymph ticks on it. That's 100 possibly infected ticks on your property that can get on you, your kids, and your pets. Think about that infection risk. The mice on your property gather the cotton from the tubes to build their nest. The permethrin on the cotton then kills all the ticks on the mice without harming the mice, therefore breaking the transmission cycle of infection. It affects the ticks only on nesting rodents that use the cotton for their nests. It does not affect the ticks on other mammals that carry ticks. We will first go over the supplies that you'll need and then we'll demonstrate how to make them. Obviously knowing how many tick tubes you will need based on the size of your property is the first step to getting ready. Obvi. It's important to know the quantity of supplies you will need before you begin making the tubes. The little bit of math needed in this segment is simple. We're gonna walk you through step-by-step step with our mad math skills. Mad math skills, yo. Our math skills are ridiculo. <laughs> Nerdy guy, he never laughs. The formula to calculate how many tubes you need is the square foot of the property needing to be covered divided by 100. For our example, we're going to use 2015 census data for the median lot size of a new single family property. In our example, the lot size is 8,600 square feet. We lose the house footage, which is the average of 2,700 square feet. Then we calculate what's left for the area needing to be tick tubed, which is 5,900 square feet. From there, we divide the treatable dimensions by 100. 
we come to approximately 60 tubes for our example home. Technically 59, but it's easier to make 60. If you live in a larger wooded area, you will need more tubes, although it may be impractical to cover a really large property at 10 foot intervals, in which case it makes sense just to cover the area nearest the house. After you've calculated how many tubes you need, it's time to gather your materials. You only need five things to build your tick tubes. Number one, cardboard tubes. Number two, permethrin. Number three, protective gear. Number four, cotton balls. Number five, spray bottle. You will need cardboard tubes, either from toilet paper or paper towel rolls. You can store them somewhere when you're finished with them. You will also need permethrin, which can be purchased on Amazon and probably also at your local hardware store. Make sure to purchase your permethrin at a concentration higher than 7.5% for making tick tubes. For spraying your clothing, you can buy permethrin at 0.5% concentration without having to dilute it. Having gloves and masks is important. Having goggles is an extra precaution if you do not want to get permethrin sprayed in your eyes. Do not spray permethrin without a mask or gloves. It is safe when dry on your skin, but you do not want to touch it while it is wet. Next, you'll need cotton, lots and lots of cotton. Or you can also save up dryer lint and use that if you want to repurpose another household byproduct. It's still just as effective. And last, you'll need a spray bottle that you will only use for permethrin. It's a good idea to label the bottle. Now that we have all of our materials ready, let's get down to business of easy assembling. We're going to walk you through the five easy steps for assembling your very own personal tick tubes. Let's get to the fun part of our segment. Let's get down to some tick tube business. Hey, ho, oh. from the windows to the wall. We're gonna lay some tick tubes in the fall. I'm a rhyme master. <laughs> so I am. Rhyme master here. Rhyme master. Verify the legality of using permethrin in this manner in your locality. If you can't legally make them, you can purchase them on Amazon from Daminex or Thermacell, the two places licensed as of this filming. Tick tubes and clothing treated in permethrin require different concentrations. You can spray your clothing in permethrin for additional tick protection. We will briefly discuss spraying clothing shortly. 7.5% for tick tubes and 0.5% for spraying permethrin on clothing, which is a much less intense concentration than tick tubes. You may need to follow the directions on your bottle of permethrin for diluting the concentration correctly. Make sure you follow the instructions for diluting properly. Our bottle of permethrin does not have dilution instructions. It's at 36% concentrate. So to dilute it properly, we calculate out 36% divided by 7.5 and get five. So we will use a ratio of four parts water to one part permethrin. To use the same permethrin for clothing, we calculate out 36% divided by 0.5 and get 72. So we ballpark that to 70 and use the ratio of 69 parts water to one part permethrin. It's not too technical, just a little math with a calculator. Also, you can purchase permethrin for spraying on clothing already diluted to 0.5%. Place your cotton in a large bin and spread it out evenly. Spray until the cotton is thoroughly moist on one side. Then mix it with your gloved hand and keep spraying again to ensure you get all the sides of the cotton wet. You can see Jan spraying all the sides as an example. For spraying clothing at the lower concentration, have the clothing hung up outside, hanging on a rack or laid on a table, and fully spray the fabric to saturate both sides. It takes about 12 hours to fully dry. So place the bin of cotton or clothing in a well-ventilated, safe area away from kids and animals as it dries. While we wait for this cotton to dry, I'm gonna bling out this tick tube just because my mood is creative AF. Professor Ace. The mad scientist. Yeah. You're about to get served. Recommend you surrender or your feelings are about to get injured. You only got three chances to return to sender. So huddle up and throw some emergency measures into your conversation. You gonna respect this side of the net. 
let's get on with the initiation. Yeah. Welcome to the smack fest, the beat down. The SWAT team is here on another beautiful day of shutting the week down. We going for kills, not here for the thrills. Man, after this match, I'm talking about they may have to shut the beach down. Today, consider us your very strict parents, and you have disobeyed us. I'm about to give you a reason to hate us. We gon' play true and false, you be the false. Because on this side of the fence, be a team full of true players. And me, I be the top swatter. The sun is out, the heat is on, and I'm only gon' make it hotter. Hope you got a lot of water in your squirt bottles. It helps wash down all the sand that we about to make it swallow. Or better do a dance and hope it starts going down. Rain may be the only thing that save you a lot of pain. Twist the springs, we about to lay the smack down. Just let you know before we start the game. Your team's already intimidated, about to be eliminated. Slap to the curb. Yeah, you about to get served. An ass strike, deliver with spikes and deadly force behind the jump serve. You know you about to get served. Like you know what you're up against, stressing. You can already see how it's working your nerves. Yeah, you about straight aggression until you learn your first volleyball lesson. Since I gotta put this beat in new words, listen. You about to get served. Sweet. Look at that. That's not your typical tick tube. No, it's not. Are you done crafting? Can we tell them the next step now? Yes, that's fine. Let's go. Next, you're going to stuff about five balls in each tube. You do not want to overstuff the tube as it will make it hard for the mouse to remove the cotton. Too few balls will just fall out. Create a small clump against the sides of the tube. Last, place the tubes about 10 feet apart all over your property. Place them where mice would go. A little hidden under bushes, fences, logs, next to large rocks, and other types of areas shielded from the elements. In order to always maintain the same level of tick protection, make sure you place the tubes twice per year on your property, usually in the early spring and late summer, and spray your outdoor clothing about every six to eight weeks or about after 10 washes to keep a effectively repelling ticks. So there you go. You've just graduated to becoming a tick Jedi. My lightsaber's broken. If you have any questions, type them below and we'll do our best to answer them. Also, please like our video and subscribe. Today's segment has been brought to you by permethrin. Ticks, it's what's for dinner.